Avengers hostile. You want to summon some fighters? Okay. What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video, and in today's video we are going to be pulling on the Special Signature Volume 2 banners, but before we do all that, if you enjoy daily King of Fighters All-Star content, or enjoy seeing your favorite YouTuber struggle to get characters that he wants, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, because it's fun, right? Yay, masochism. Anyway guys, I'm actually genuinely really excited to be pulling on these banners. I really, really like this Gyo. I think he's really, really good. If you guys didn't see the breakdown video that, you know, spoiler alert, YouTuber Magic, I actually recorded that like 20 minutes ago. So this video is pre-recorded. I recorded this like 20, 30 minutes after I did that video. So it's like 4.30 in the morning here, the day of release. But I love this Keo. I really like this Iori as well. So overall, I also am a big fan of these cards. I really want the Keo finisher and the option card at minimum. I don't really care about the set card, to be honest with you guys. But, you know, we're going to go pretty hard on this. I'll spend whatever. I don't really care at this point. I'll just spend all the rubies. It doesn't matter to me at this point. So we're going to be going for these here so let's get it started but yeah guys as far as these events go as far as everything going on in the game right now you know as bad as the events suck as bad as the timing is of all of this stuff it i'm here for king of fighters you guys know that i am such a king of fighters stan that it's just one of those things where if i get new king of fighters fests and not you know some random anime collab or whatever the case may be you can tell how much more excited i get around these times and that's just because i genuinely love this ip king of fighters has always been one of my favorite things in the world and to be honest with you guys this is really exciting to me so whatever happens happens you know really all i care about is i plan on going to pity twice for these characters whatever we get we get i'm just hoping that i at least at minimum get one keo from these pulls because that would mean that as long as i use my pities for those two pities on keo as well as that generic ss memory that i'm going to get from the carnival then I can go ahead and get him to A3, and that's all that matters to me. I would also really like to get Iori's memories as well, but if I had to choose one, it's definitely Keo. That's the one that I'm most interested in. That's the one that I'm hoping to get the most of, but, you know, it is what it is. Whatever they decide to give me, as long as they give me something. So, <laughs> so far, not so good, but that's okay. So, I really don't know yet what the rates look like on this. I mean... Obviously, rates are rates. It's all RNG, but I haven't heard as many people yet this morning complaining about this banner as with the BS banner, but I also get the feeling more people were pulling on the BS banner than they are on this banner at this point, so... We'll have to wait and see what the word of mouth is over the next couple days. But uh, this video should at least give me some insight into how it is. But hey, we got our first fest. What are we gonna get? Hoping for the best. What are we gonna get? Huh? Hey, that's pretty good. Very nice. Okay, we'll take it. Hey, buddy. Cool. So, all right. Well, hey, it's a start. It's a start. I think we're still on our free rubies, too, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Well, actually, that might have been the last summon on the free rubies. I don't know. I'm not even paying attention, guys. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm talking to you guys. I don't really care at this point. As I've established, all the rubies are going, so whatever. You know, and that's the thing, like, okay, I understand that the ruby thing is tough, right? And it sucks, but here's where I come from on it. And I know a lot of people like to say, oh, well, you know, you're a whale or this, or the other thing. You know, I'm definitely, in my opinion, not a whale. If I were a whale, I would have like 16 tokens right now, or whatever the case may be. You know, to me, a whale is somebody who spends far more money in this game than I do. So, to me, the whole thing with it is, is I would consider myself more like a dolphin, I guess. I mean, I'll spend, I'll buy like one package per kind of event, usually, but outside of that... You know, so for me, the ruby thing, it does suck to see them go, especially when you're somebody that usually has a stash that's pretty high up there. But in these instances, if it's characters that 
I enjoy or its KOF characters in general. I don't mind spending them because, to be honest with you guys, there are so many ways to be able to just keep building back up your rubies as long as you're spending correctly and you're being smart about what you're doing that it is what it is to me. Like, I really don't sweat it. So it's just one of those things where I get it. And I've played a lot of gotcha games. I've taken a lot of bad beats and I've had a lot of really good sessions summoning. And I'm pretty much immune to caring at this point. <laughs> I just, it is what it is. You know, as long as I'm not getting completely and utterly screwed over, it is, it's fine. Like right now, I mean, I, what, I have like one fess on what, seven or so? Multis? I don't even know. I'm not keeping count. For those of you who are watching, you can keep count if you want, but I'm not even paying attention at this point. I'm just talking to you guys, summoning some fighters, having some good old-fashioned fun. But I do agree with people, though. This is, uh, event does kind of blow, to be honest with you guys. It's really not good. I talked about it in the breakdown, and I guess it's not spoilers, so I can talk about it now. But when it comes to these events... The carnival is just terrible, and my issue with the carnival isn't, like, personally, I think I'll have the carnival done in the next hour, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. So, for people like me, it really doesn't matter. The carnival is fine. But for new players, for intermediates, all the players that I kind of laid out in that video and kind of talked about, I'm sure you guys have seen that video if you're watching this one, since that would have come out the day previous to this one. But if you haven't, check it out. But I'll reiterate some of my thoughts here in kind of a short form, but... Really, the carnival is terrible. I hate it. Um, you know, jury's still out on the guild raid. We still don't have it, so we don't know. Um, beyond that, when it comes to anything else, the Rush Dungeon Exchange Shop is just crap. I mean, let's be honest. It's not good. There's nothing good there. Like, it's just a waste. So I don't even know how much I'm going to be donating to that. I'll probably actually, though, play through that and record the entire thing. Um, I've been thinking about doing that and kind of like archiving these sorts of uh, story dungeons and things like that just you know because one day you know hopefully years down the road this game isn't necessarily going to be around forever so I would like to have that stuff archived so I might do that especially if it's going to be kind of I don't know what the what the gist of it is I haven't played it yet obviously it's still early but as long as it has something to do with the KOF lore and, you know, there's some fun comedic relief in there like they usually do. And hey, Janae, how you doing, girl? Hope I'm glad to see you because I'm not seeing Kyo or Iori. But yeah, I mean, I might do that too because I, I don't know. Sometimes I enjoy that. They sometimes are self-aware in those and have some fun with it. And hey, we finally got another fast. Finally. Good lord. This is only our second fast. We have an Iori so far. So see what we get here. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully something good. If it's an off-banner fast, I'm gonna probably gonna bang my head into this table. And this is a pretty heavy-duty table that I use, so, ouch. Uh, Hi. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. That's fine. I'll take it. Cool. Well, I can awaken Iori, so that's cool. And we got our <laughs> our pity. So we got two Ioris on one rotation of pity. Yikes starting to get a little bit nervous because I need at least one Keo. Just one Keo. Man. But yeah, so overall, while I do not support these events, I do not support the idea of bringing this stuff out the way that they did, timing-wise, I at the same time support the IP of King of Fighters, and I support the idea of releasing more King of Fighters characters and not just inundating us with trash, to be honest. Like, I, I guess I shouldn't say trash, right? I shouldn't say that. There are people out there that enjoy the collaboration IPs and things like that, but it's just, it's not my thing, guys. It's not my thing, and it would be disingenuous of me to pretend that it is, because I feel like that's kind of, that's kind of the pressure you feel sometimes as a YouTuber. Like, New events come out, like with the Seven Deadly Sins thing, and I told you guys I wasn't excited about it personally, but I was excited for people who enjoy the IP. And of course, Netmarble screwed that up too, but yeah, I digress. Um, so it's one of those things for me when this kind of stuff comes out. This is like a collab for me. Like, new KOF characters, that's basically what I look for. And, you know, it is what it is. If the events are going to suck, the events are going to suck, but I'm still going to call a spade a spade, and in this instance, these 
characters are really good and the characters themselves i personally think look good like i understand where people are coming from saying that you know well the character models they look reused and yada yada and recycled or whatever but to be honest i mean they can only do so much right like they're modeling these characters off of a specific king of fighters game um a specific moment from the franchise's history as best they can um so i guess i understand where people are coming from in some fashion but at the same time as a kof fan it doesn't necessarily bother me because i'm sitting here just going well this is the way these characters for the most part should look so why should i be worried about it like so that's where i'm at with it you know and everybody's entitled to their own opinion and i get everybody's opinion and where they're coming from i understand you know but for me personally i'd be more worried if they looked different from the way they should and that would i don't know that just wouldn't work for me you know those of us who are king of fighters ip fans we watch this stuff and ooh, another fest please be my keo please be my keo i just need one yes all right pressure's off okay <laughs> man that Woo. okay i was nervous for a second all right well now no matter what happens i'm happy so whatever take my rubies game whatever i don't care you were gonna get them anyway it is what it is but yeah i don't get too bent out of shape about spending i mean it is what it is like i said am i going to spend money on this event uh that's a completely different story i i withhold an answer however i also probably will not um i'm not planning to you know over the course of the next week or so if these characters once i can test them out and play around with them especially now that i know i can at least at minimum a3 my keo i can a1 my yori I'll, I'll play around with them i'll tinker around with them i'll bring you guys spotlights and kind of highlight videos and breakdowns and i do feel like with these two characters i already have a pretty firm grasp on them like i said in my breakdown video which if you guys didn't see that keo is going to be one of the top dps's in the game and also have one of the most op finishers in the game iori on the other hand is a little bit slower um so i'm almost thinking that with iori even though there's a lot of parity between the two i think iori is probably going to be more of a pvp character uh he might even be better in pvp than kyo possibly i don't know um but he does look like he's more of a pvp oriented character and you know time might prove me wrong this has only been out for two hours or so if that so at the same time there's a lot to learn about these characters but i do feel like i at least this early on have somewhat of a firm grasp on what to expect so i i'm pretty i'm feeling pretty good about these i i really am and it just it's really unfortunate that the events themselves kind of bogged this down and made this suck a lot worse than it needed to um at the end of the day if the events would have been really really good and these characters were just the way they are right now i think that this would be a very hype event if they would have waited an extra three weeks four weeks to release this after the bs stuff to give us some time you know that would have been a different story so if you're netmarble and you're listening to anything from any of us and you ever watch these types of videos you know these characters are fine everything about that part of this update is okay just next time give us more time in between these events don't make us feel this kind of pressure and give us a little bit of time to recoup and get make sure you know use that extra time to make these events better like stop being so stingy with in-game currency and items like you don't need to hide all these items like hammers and memories and all this stuff so much you know there's no reason for it we look at these exchange shops and ah! my god i swear i am not <laughs> that's the second pity we got one fess on that rotation didn't we i don't remember when we got our first or our second iori but yeah that was a uh, successful let's move on to the cards here guys by the way just fyi all i'm looking for is Kyo's finisher and option cards I don't care about the set i already have the set basically i have the city of darkness set it's basically the exact same thing so i don't really care um as far as the ori's finisher i also really want that as well don't get me wrong 
but Kios finisher is definitely priority one. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. But yeah, so when it comes to this kind of stuff, as long as you space these types of things out and you make things worth it, then nobody's going to care if you keep releasing these limited banners. In fact, players like me look forward to these limited banners and, you know, that's great. But you, you got to really think about the timing, you know, common sense, right? I think it really just boils down to that. And hopefully we have better luck on these cards than the characters. But yeah, I mean, and then the other thing that I really do think is the fact that, you know, getting back to the idea that they really do try to hide this content and try to make it as hard for us to get it as possible. I really don't understand why. So that's stuff that really needs to get worked on because I do think that they could be more generous in a big way and I don't think it would hurt them at all. In fact, I think it would only help them. And that's what that's a philosophy I don't really understand from developers, right? I don't understand why they think that every little thing in their games has to be held at some sort of major value because if you make everything that scarce and that rare and that hard to attain, it it really does start to bog the game down. Like, I understand making the characters rare and hard to obtain. I understand that idea. That makes sense to a, to an extent. But things like hammers, like, why? Like, why are they still so tough to get? Like, the, the spark plugs that you use to unpair, the unpairing plugs, why, why are those so rare? Like, why do you make generic memories so tough to get? Like, it, it, it just, it's not that big of a deal. Like, you could easily give us more options for this kind of stuff and make more money. That's my thing. Like, I've heard people already this morning saying, do not spend money on this event and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, oh, nice. Very good. Awesome. That's cool. All right. Good start. Good start. We're like, what, three or four multis in and we have an option card. So that's good. I'll take that. That works for me. Now let's hope that uh, we can keep it going. But anyway, oh my god. We're gonna get one of these. Uh. Oh my god! Wow! Okay. Well. I mean, if you want to give me the set during this, this pity, because it's probably the only pity I'm gonna go to unless I decide to pull again before the end of the event, uh, sure, but at the same time, if you're not, then, uh, I, I, I don't I don't really I don't really care whatever Just, I'll take it it's fine but oh here we go come on nice there we go awesome we'll take it that's our second option card cool so so far the cards have treated us much better than the characters did which is a complete 180 from what it's been historically usually the card banners I'm dreading touching but we'll take this Hopefully we can keep it going. I still don't have either finisher though. And this is what happened to me the last SS banner, if you guys remember back in the day. Uh, I ended up I ended up going to pity what, like four times just to get one my finisher or something. I don't even remember. Um, it was like three or four times I had to go to pity and didn't get one my finisher. So for those of you who didn't see those, I was really trying hard to get the set. So I ended up having to burn my pities on the set and it just, it never happened with the my finisher. It was crazy. So I actually had to go a full pity just to get another pity ticket just to get the my finisher. It was ridiculous. So I'm glad that this one's going a little bit better, but the finisher is not popping up it is making me nervous. So, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with it. But I do understand the philosophy. If people don't want to spend money, don't spend money. I mean, I haven't spent money yet. I'm not saying that I might not. I. I'm not, I haven't really put much thought into it. It hasn't really occurred to me to do so. You know, I have rubies, so I really don't need to worry about doing that right now. But, you know, in a week and a half or so or whatever, when we get closer to the end of the event, I don't know, maybe, but I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things where, you know, people have every right to be upset about this stuff. But it's important, I feel like, that people, people are transparent and honest and better about vocalizing what they're mad about instead of just yelling and screaming and throwing your arms in the air and you know shouting and being incoherent you know break it down to them on the forums or you know wherever it is that you might think that they might listen because 
they've proven in the past that they do listen whenever we are complaining about stuff or <laughs> it's not the right finisher um whenever we complain about stuff right and so if you are you know coherent about your statements and you make good points and you try to be valid in your reasoning i do think that they were they, they're gonna say something like they're gonna address this right like they can't just ignore it recently they've been pretty mum uh as far as the as far as the live streams and such which you know i i think a lot of that has to do with things going on in the world <laughs> we'll just put it that way right now um I'm really not sure what's going on with the live streams. In fact, let's see one second. Back on topic here. We're going to do some of these real quick. Yeah, so we, uh, we're we probably just going to use the pity on... Uh, my God, I get so many Akane cards. Um, we're probably just going to use the pity on Kyo's card. Regardless of if I'm going back in or not, maybe, possibly, before the end of this, I, I need to be able to... Hi, Kim. Um... I need to be able to make content, and I need to be able to test these characters, so I'm just going to get Keo's finisher with that pity, and uh, whatever happens from that point forward happens, so whatever. Easy come, easy go. It is what it is. But, yeah, I mean, I, I do think that they will say something, and like I said, I don't know what's going on with the live streams or whatever the case may be, although I think that the reason they've been giving us all these free rubies recently is to make up for the fact that we aren't going to have live streams, so they're just giving us rubies to make up for it. Um, since we would be getting rubies from those live streams if they were having them. So it's kind of compensation for that. Uh, I'm sure that they'll return. I hope they return. I, I enjoy the live streams. You know, I hate to say it, but I kind of miss Travis at this point. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure they're going to say something probably in a dev note or whatever the case may be. So we'll have to wait and see. But I'm hoping that things do end up getting better with what's going on recently. But things are a bit strange. I will say that definitely been lackluster in the way they've handled things recently but yeah so anyway that is pretty much how i feel about that stuff now that we have all this collected i'm going to do some house cleaning and get some of this stuff collected and then we'll build our keo and yeah that'll be the video so i'll be right back you guys all right i'm back so let's go ahead and build up keo i have finished up everything that i need to finish up and collected all of my different things that i needed to collect in order to get this done so we won't have to worry about me having an awkward moment where i go to do something and i'm like oh wait hold on a second <laughs> happens all the time and i've seen it happen to multiple youtubers you'll be like oh, i'm gonna record you know leveling up this character and then you get to say the evolve screen and you're missing like one item and you're like dang hold on <laughs> so i've learned to cut at certain points but yeah so i'm excited to be using these characters i'm excited to get these characters i'm really excited to try them out and bring you guys content on these if you guys are pulling for them let me know in the comment section who your favorite is you know which one you're wanting the most you know it doesn't just have to be meta chasing you know which character's your favorite who are you most excited for because you know at the end of the day it's a game you're, you're, you're trying to get characters you enjoy. So, you know, it's just one of those things where I'm always curious to see who people like. And, you know, I know these two characters are extremely popular. So it's just one of those things where it'd be a lot of fun to kind of talk to people and see you know, what their thoughts are on their favorite or one of their favorite characters getting a new fest that's really, really good and uh, how they feel about it. So, yeah, let me know in the comments section. But, you know, I, I'm excited for this update as far as the characters go. Like I said, everything else kind of lame. But it is what it is. I'm sure we'll hear about compensation for stuff or something in the next 24 hours or whatever the case may be. So, you know, like I said, it's still too early to tell. As of right now, it's now like almost 5 in the morning <laughs> on the day of release. Uh, why do I do this to myself? I always try to record these things like back to back just because it's easier on my schedule to do it that way because I do put more editing into these poll videos. So having it pre-recorded and being able to edit it more, that's always helpful. But yeah, guys, so before I end the video, though, I do want to let you guys know, since uh, I think we're done pulling for this one, um, I do want to let you guys know we have a very, very, very cool, special video coming. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about what it is. It is a collaboration video. I'll just throw that out there. So I'll let you guys try to figure that one out. But 
yeah so that's pretty much gonna be it guys i don't think there's really a whole lot more in here that i need to worry about doing i think that we've pretty much cleaned up since uh getting this stuff pulled so i think well we do need to get our stones i'm not going to do that on screen though I'll just go ahead and collect these. I'm just going to do attack stones for Keo. So um, I'm not going to build these up on screen, though, because that tends to be a process. So we'll go with that. But I'm sure the next time you see my Keo, he will be built up fully with these stones and we'll be having all kinds of fun testing him in all sorts of different modes. But yeah, guys. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Good luck on your summons, guys. Let me know in the comments section how you do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace. Continue. Game over. Why are you still here? Go home. The video is over. No, really, it's over. Until the next one. Peace.